video on how to change an error that you get. Um, a lot of times you get this from SFTP or SSH. Technically, SFTP is using SSH for editing files. But a lot of times you get this error called host key is changed. Um, another one is that maybe it says you're getting a man in the middle attack. Now the way you fix it is, is the same way. I'm going to close a screenshot from my, my buddy. And the way you change it is in this file called known host. Now let's get to the file on, on our own. And the way we're going to do it is we're going to find it in our .ssh file. Now, um, since I'm using Coda, Coda has a file um, editor in here. But if you were just using Finder, you can actually do something like um, going back. And you're going to go back to your user folder. So I just go to the go, go up on the top. I know that's not visible. And you can go to in closing folder and keep going until you get to the end. Now I'm going to go within my user. This, in this case, it's Brodsky. I'm going to close whatever I don't need. Now, within here, probably the uh, easiest thing is to open up this user folder within something that you can see uh, visible files. Now, I don't usually have to show like hidden files within here. Um, so we can go in here. And the way to do this is through terminal. There's many ways to do it. Um, but what we're looking for um, is within the dot, uh, .ssh file, um, we can go in here and go to known host. And get in this and look for the one that you're connecting to. So let's say you're connecting to FTP dot whatever. You can literally just copy this line, delete it, and you're good to go. Um, now your your uh, SSH isn't going to recognize that key, and it's going to remake a new key next time you connect it. This solves a problem for maybe man in the middle attacks, and it really makes a big difference on security. That way, you know your SSH is secure. And there's not someone sniffing your packets. Now let me show you how to use terminal. I'm going to open up terminal. And to get in here, if you don't have something like this, um, I'm going to go ahead, go to my enclosing folder, and I'm going to open up the Brodsky tab inside of terminal. So let's open up this. I'm going to type in CD. I'm going to drag this folder in. You can see that that goes directly to that folder. And I can uh, do a quick ls. Now let's actually I'll try LSLA. So this is going to show everything in here. You can see that my SSH folder is in here. Again, that was LS-LA, and that's going to show all the folders, including your uh, hidden folders. Now, if you want to get in here and edit this, we can go ahead and um, CD into .SSH. And I'm going to LS, and you can see the known host. So a nice way of doing this is maybe doing like a sudo uh, vim. I'm not even sure I have vim installed on this. Type in your password, and get in here, and you can edit it this way. If you know some vim, um, it'll help you. Anyway, um, uh, this, um, this is how you edit it um, through SSH. You're going to have to know some vim. Hopefully you're just using something like Coda um, or some kind of text editor um, that has a file structure that shows hidden files or hidden folders. Uh, and you should be good. Let me know if you have any questions. Talk to you soon.